This court hearing was only about five minutes long, but dozens of police officers took time out of their day to show up for the pretrial conference to stand with Officer Rodman's family. We're on the record in indictment 17. CR with Daniel Woods arrived to Monday's hearing in a wheelchair. The 37 year old is still recovering from injuries he sustained in the deadly crash. He's in a medical ward right now due to the injuries that he caused himself by crashing. I'm still trying to catch up to him. I'm going 60. Authorities say Woods led officers on a high speed chase back on March 28th. He crashed into the police cruiser Officer Nick Rodman was driving. We're on for a pretrial conference today. Inside the court room, Woods came face to face with Rodman's family and dozens of his fellow police officers. There are so many murder cases where there is there are a lot of loved ones in the courtroom and it is always emotional. So um, I mean, I think their, their presence speaks for itself. Prosecutors say the bulk of the discovery in this case has been filed. That includes body camera video, a recorded phone call of Woods in jail, and a 500-page investigative report. The state also anticipates an additional indictment against Woods. There will be an, most likely an additional charge indicted. There was a pedestrian who was hit during the chase uh, by Mr. Woods, and we are just waiting on medical records before we present that to the grand jury. Woods, who already faces a long list of charges related to the crash, didn't say much during the hearing, except to answer questions about qualifying for a public defender. Now, Woods also had some loved ones here at the hearing today. They had been trying to get him a private attorney, but today in court, he qualified for that public defender, and that's what he was appointed. He will be back on this case in court uh, in July. That's the latest from downtown Louisville. Christina Mora, WLKY News. Thank you, Christina. Because of his injuries, Nathaniel Woods is being held at the Kentucky State Reformatory in LaGrange. He was indicted on 11 charges, including murder, want endangerment, fleeing from police, as well as weapon, drug, and traffic offenses.